Michaela Vernava for Nesson.com here on Radio Row. And I'm joined now by CBS Sports NFL Network analyst Solomon Wilcots and Dr. Elise Lombardo. And what are you guys here at Super Bowl week for? Well, what we have done is we've huddled up um, for new Alzheimer's treatment. It's part of our campaign to bring greater awareness for the need to participate in clinical studies. And Dr. Elise Lombardo is heading up our mindset study. And she can tell you a little bit more about that because it's fascinating work. Yeah, please do. Sure. Well, it's actually been over 10 years since any new treatment's been approved for Alzheimer's disease. So we're here raising awareness to get the general community to know about participation in clinical trials, and get them motivated to join us to get these drugs across the goal line so that we can bring them to the patients who need them. Definitely some really important stuff. And Solomon, while I have you here, I definitely want to ask you some football questions and get some knowledge from you. So I want to know, with the Patriots' hot start to the season coming out 10-0, and what do you think about the end of their season, and are you surprised that they are not here this week? They were one of my final four teams. If you were to have a final four in the NFL, um, two on the NFC side, but the two on the AFC side I had being the New England Patriots and the Denver Broncos. Now, who would advance from that game? It was very difficult to tell, but as the season progressed, you could tell that they were still a team that was more quarterback-centric, reliant, on Tom Brady to carry the team. And last year, remember, they were much stronger defensively. Um, they were more healthy on the offensive line and better in terms of the weapons around them on offense. Once they lost the running back, Deion Lewis, it was clear they were going to struggle in terms of having that check down running back. The absence of Shane Vereen, who they lost in free agency one year ago, I thought was very obvious that it really hurt their offense. It's a young offensive line that struggled really all year to protect Tom Brady, but he made up for it by getting rid of the ball very quickly. Once you get deep into the postseason, um, the liabilities on your football team are made that much more prevalent and more obvious. And I thought it showed when he was hitting some 19 times by that Denver Broncos defense. So uh, it's clear where that team needs to improve moving forward. Well, of the two teams that are here this week, the Denver Broncos are the underdogs. Do you think that they are getting the respect that they deserve? I think they get the respect they deserve. But if you go back and look at, say, even at the great quarterback, Peyton Manning, nine touchdown passes on the regular season, 17 interceptions. So, you know, that the analysts are looking at some of these areas and saying, whoa, it's gonna, you're going to have to play a lot better than that if you're going to win uh, in the Super Bowl. The defense, everyone knows that they can be very dominant, okay? But how do you stop a prolific quarterback like Cam Newton? They have not faced a quarterback like Cam Newton all season long. They're used to playing against that traditional pocket passer and a Tom Brady, a Ben Roethlisberger. But, of course, now here comes Cam Newton, who brings a whole different dynamic to the table. The Carolina Panthers have won 17 of their 18 games this season. They also have a dominating defense. They can run the ball better than any team in the National Football League, having topped 100 yards rushing in 31 consecutive games. To me, there's a reason why they're the favorite in this game, and I don't think that's in any way disrespectful to the Denver Broncos. Well, as you said, we did see that decline of Peyton Manning early in the season, and you say he will obviously have to play better than that in the Super Bowl if he wants to win. But he did play better than that against the Patriots, very methodical. Yeah. Do you think he will be able to keep that up against, as you said, Carolina's dominating defense? See, I think that's the question, because even if you go back to the Pittsburgh game, if you look at the Patriots game, Peyton Manning played well in spurts. In other words, against the Patriots in the AFC title game, played well in the first half. He was able to hit play action pass to the tight end Owen Daniels for a couple of touchdowns early. And then, as you saw, when they got into the second half, the offense kind of struggled. And the defense really had to carry. They had to come up with stop after stop on fourth down and even in the red zone. And the offense wasn't nearly as productive. I think they're going to have to sustain their productivity throughout the course of four quarters of this football game, you're not going to be able to go into these lulls that we have seen in the postseason, even at times during the regular season, if they're going to come away a Super Bowl champion.